Yay! Hi! Hi guys! Oregon. I don't know if it's going yet. Give it a second. It takes it a minute. <laughs> See, yours isn't even caught up yet. Should we just dance? Las Vegas! There we are! That's my place! Okay. Hi, Las Vegas! Should we just it? dance? That's where it started. <laughs> where? Should we just dance? Should we just dance? <laughs> Hi, everybody! Hi! Uh, I know. I'm sorry. I had to use the little girl's room. I get a little nervous. <laughs> really? Is that why you had to go? Well, because what if I have to go in the middle and then... That's awkward. That's weird. Anyways. <laughs> Hi, everybody! Thanks for joining. My beautiful sister Susan is here. Hello. Yay! Um, uh, I love it when she comes and she's been here before to do a live with me. And it's so fun because she could sit there and um, read all of the comments and we can talk and it's fun. Um, love the music video, thank you. We're coming up with jingles for my YouTube channel and we have got got some winners guys I guess they just sound <laughs> cheesy no they're good okay <laughs> it's art baby it's real art oh hi Stephanie hi Caitlin Leslie Kat Carissa <laughs> okay so I'm gonna be sewing up the Rossitron by Sincerely Jen Patterns her patterns are really cute and amazing I really like them I haven't done too many of them I want to do all of she them eventually a cute bag I love right yeah, yeah. Should I show that one so they know who made that sure. one? Sure. Um, <laughs> I haven't sewn this one up before. I'm doing the small size. Um, hopefully, I can read instructions <laughs> during this live. She's going to show you. This is, uh, she has the Tribbiani Traveler. Susan loves this bag. Every time I come here, I would like to go in your sewing room and look in your closet with all your bags. And I say, ooh, I like this one. Isn't that she nice pets one? them. I do. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell them everything that's the same pattern designer the tribbiani traveler she has the fun bobby backpack that i did so i didn't we didn't do the music intro you didn't miss it <laughs> <laughs> although the one is done i just finished the editing this morning i'm just saying i mean we could do it <laughs> okay so, yay, we got a good crowd here going. I'm so happy. Thanks for joining. Hopefully this morning time works for other people. I know I've been doing some night lives, so I'm trying to switch it up so everybody can have a chance to join in. Yay! yay. First time. Oh, Kajersti. I hope I'm saying that right. Arizona. Yay. Sorry, we're just reading all the comments. Okay. Canada. So, let's get going. I'm going to move the camera in. I'll start sewing. You guys let me know if the angle is good. If it sucks, I'll move it. And my sister will sit and commentate and we'll talk back and forth. I'll and be the creepy voice in the background. Mm -hmm. Say his way, say his way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, let's do it. Here we go. I'm going to plug in my phone. Uh, they want us to do the dance. You guys are funny. <laughs> I don't know, maybe if we're feeling a little feisty, we'll do it a little bit later. We have been known to dance. <laughs> we we do love a good dance, guys. I don't know. We do. There, see, Delva wants to know if there's wine. <laughs> and I was trying to tell someone else yesterday, this is what we're oh, like, gosh. completely sober. We do this when we're sober. Can you believe it? Can you imagine if we weren't? Um... <laughs> All right, sorry, pulling my hair up out of my face. Deborah from New York, how's it going? Are we Yay. cooking too? <laughs> <laughs> Someone remembers our biscuit cook off. Gosh, well. That sounds good, doesn't it? Oh, biscuits, biscuits sound going. good, yes. Thank you, Jaded. I now know that I want to make biscuits. Well, we can put that on our list of things to do while we're here. All right, so let's get going. I have interfaced and I am using foam instead of Decaville Light for this one. Um, Quebec, Canada. How's it going? So I need to, I'm going to start with my zippers. All right. Um, 
Louisiana, Alaska. Bottom Maine. Man, you have people from everywhere. I know, it's crazy, right? It's crazy. You guys are awesome. Someone says lots of foam lately. Have you been using lots of foam? You lately? know, I have because I feel like the Decaville light is in high demand and hard to get, and I don't want to waste it. <laughs> oh, Lene from Estonia. I taught a family in Las Vegas, and the mother's from Estonia, and they go every summer. The most beautiful accent, Estonia. Estonia. But Ian. My tuba player. Oh, his mom's yeah. From oh yeah, I remember. I met her. Yeah. Remember when you moved? Yeah. yeah. I met her. Yeah, they were super sweet. Yay! California, Tennessee. Hello, Celine, Jennifer, Judy, Sue. Laney. Lene. It's pronounced Lene. Lene. She's Lene. Lene. Yeah, she's from okay. Hi, Lene. And New Jersey. Yay! Did you get the tent? <laughs> <laughs> weren't you going to get a tent and uh, it says remember Puerto Rico too with 87 degrees you're going to get some kind of tent and have a party or something <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I, don't, I do remember that I don't remember Shell <laughs> um, wants to know what kind of foam you use I use it's Basel um, R form and I get it off of Amazon and I have a link for an Amazon store where I put all of the items that I like to use. And I will link it below when I'm done in the description. And hello from South Carolina, Pennsylvania, Virginia, Chicago. Woo! We have Sarah, Julie, Cindy, Cynthia, Christina, Nancy, Kelly. Um, Kelly wants to know, have you sewn a medium-sized purse with a center zip pocket in the middle of the main compartment? Yes. And how was it? It was fabulous. Um, Kentucky. We, don't love Kentucky. we do love Kentucky. I am putting the zipper tabs on my front zipper pocket here. Natalie wants to know where I'm living. Um, yeah, last time I was on here, we were getting ready to move from Las Vegas to yep. St. George, Utah. Yep. And uh, San Jorge. San Jorge. A big move for our family, but it's going great. It's going great. I'm not teaching this year, so that's why I could just leave randomly and come see my sister. I mean, it's yeah. kind of awesome. Oh, they were going to camp in the sewing room. That was the whole discussion, the tent discussion. They were going to have a camp <laughs> oh, <over yeah>. there. <laughs> Man, that would be... Hi, Felicia. That would be crazy. Oh, Northern Ireland. Carolyn is from Northern Ireland. That's wow. awesome. Wow. Sherry from Georgia. I wonder if they can hear you okay. Kara because from Tennessee. Because you're behind me. Okay? I don't know. Tell us if you can hear my sister or if she sounds muffled and far away. Or if you want me just to be quiet. Or if you want her to shut up. <laughs> Hi, Kalisha. Oh, uh, uh, they talked about camping in my backyard. That's funny. Bring your tents. Come on over. It's a little chilly and snowy outside. <laughs> she told me when I was packing to come here that it would be nice and warm, and I got here and it was snowing. I'm like, wait a minute. Um, Barely hear her, Tammy says. She sounds like she's in a tunnel. You need to come closer to me. Okay. Come closer, sister. Come closer to me. Okay. She's coming a little closer. I need to get a microphone is what I need to do. And I don't have a mic yet. So, what do you do? Oh, shoot. You know what, guys? I ran... Okay. So, I just did the measurement for the long zipper and... This is not the one you want. This is the large, and I'm doing the small. I'm doing the small bag, and I read the measurement for the large zipper. See? Nine. It needs to be nine. That's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. <sighs> it's okay. Hi from Florida. I'm from Germany. Hello, Heidi. Tracy, the black thread. I did order more. It's just going to be a little bit because the Chinese New Year and shipping takes forever. So I'm guessing a month or so. Talk amongst yourselves. Talk. Coffee talk. Coffee talk. Hello, Beth and Charlie. Oh, Charlie's happy she made it to a live. Yay, Charlie. Sorry. Sorry, Charlie. I like the collection of stickers you're gathering on your sewing machine. If I bought you a really cool sticker, would you put it on there? Absolutely. What if it had my face on it? Even better. <laughs> I just had to recut a zipper tab here because 
I had to cut off the other end of my zip. Oops. I thought that seemed really big. <laughs> uh, uh, hello, Dagmar. Hello, Lisa. Um, what about the purple thread? She wants to know if you have any left. She just ordered purple vinyl. Yeah, I, I still have brand. purple thread on the site. Yep, yep, yep. Hello from Wyoming. I am using my navy blue thread, the the navy thread that I have on my website right now. It's super pretty. I like it a lot. Um, yeah, I absolutely love my thread. Okay, sorry about that, guys. A little distracted. Oh, hi, mom. How's it going? Hi, mom. Is the weather nicer there? Sandy says, hi from Pennsylvania, and we're having too much fun. We shall be very serious from now <laughs> I don't know how this bag's going to turn out, guys. Carolyn says you need to do a sticker that says it's, it'll be fine. Uh, yeah. We actually have one I of did. our jingles. We put it into one of we our jingles. We did we put like, it yes. into one of our jingles. Yep. Okay, so for this front, okay, I'm going to talk about the pattern now. <laughs> Sorry. For this Sorry. bag, you have um, this front exterior bottom part and there's two different sizes one is a little bit shorter than the other and so for the pocket you're going to start with this shorter um piece and all i did was back this with the woven fuse too all right and i am going to create a pocket now all right that's all i just had to you know tell me to be quiet so you can actually talk about what you're doing yeah <laughs> listen you wanted me to come this may be a long video, guys. No, I can be quiet. No, I'm just teasing. It's fine. It's fine. I can work in craziness. <laughs> yeah, you can. I have enough kids that I'm used to it. Hello from the UK. A couple people just got on. The UK. Awesome. It's a good time for you guys, right? What time is it over there in the UK? I think it's, is it afternoon time? Somebody else had commented that this is a good time for you guys. Hello from Greece. Nice. Oh, I love to go to Greece. Me too. I love to go everywhere. And Me eat too. All food. Yes. It's I 6 think... 15 p.m. in Norway right now. Oh. So it's the evening. Perfect. So, like after work, probably. That's perfect. That's perfect um, time, huh? So, Nubian wants to know is it worth it to purchase Woven Fuse 2? Um, she has Woven Fuse, however, here's a lot. A lot of makers say they like woven fuse too. So to be honest, I never use regular woven fuse anymore. I love woven fuse too so much. And you'll understand when you use it. It is, it's kind of amazing. Is it magical? It's magical. It's just, um, it has a better feel to it. It's a little bit thicker. And I just love it, guys. Tiffany, so yes, I did stay in the Susan room last night. It was the big unveiling <gasps> of the guest room she made for me. It was fabulous. Um, How do they know about the Susan room? I don't know. You must have put it on there. Oh. Um, Christina says that she loves Woven Fuse 2. She uses that. Yeah. I I honestly only order Woven Fuse 2 anymore. So um, So Charlie wants to know if you have to have a heat press to put Woven Fuse 2 on or no. you can use an iron. You can use an iron. It just may take a minute. But you can use an iron. Um, if you, my heat press was as much as an iron was because I got it used off of like next door or Craigslist or something. So I got my heat press for super cheap and man, it's been worth every penny. So if you're debating that, that's one place you can go and look. Tiffany says you talked about the room before, that's why. Oh, okay. Yes. I have fi finished the Susan room and it is beautiful. <laughs> and she has been the first to use it. Is Woven Fuse domestic friendly? Yes, it is. It's not really thick. Like, it's not... Oh, it's hard to explain. It's just... It has a full sheet of glue on the back. And so... It adheres better. And I guess it is a little bit thicker than regular Woven Fuse. Because it, it's equivalent to two layers. Of regular woven fuse. And a, a domestic machine can go through that just fine. Yeah, yeah. You should be able to sew on a domestic just fine with it. Um, and, and Jennifer wants to know, is woven fuse better, is woven fuse 2 better than SF-101? 
Yes. I don't even know what I just said. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You're like, I don't even know what all these terms are. I'm just terms. reading the words, okay? Absolutely it is. Um, yeah, it is. And I get all of mine from gotinterfacing.com, and I love it so much. Is there a difference between uh, Moment Fuse 2 and Deck of the Light? Curious. Yes, there is. Deck of the Light is a stiff interfacing used to give structures to your bag. Woven Fuse is a woven. It's, it's, not, um, it's not stiff. It's like fabric. And it's used to just um, make your material a little bit thicker and not give it any stretch. You don't want stretch to it. So it eliminates the stretch in your fabric, which is what you need when you're sewing bags. Okay, so I am, I've got the front of my pocket. I am clipping the back. It's the taller piece that you cut on here. And I am basting. Uh, da, 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 da. Yep, I am doing a fourth inch seam allowance on this, it says. Sorry, I'm trying to read the pattern too as I go here. We will allow it. Okay. <laughs> Just this once though. Thank you. <laughs> In the future, could you please memorize all this? I will try. Oh God. Hello, Lara from Spain. Um, she wants. She wonders if anyone on here can tell her which interfacing would be equivalent to Woven Two in Spain. Something she can get in Spain. Oh, I have no idea in Spain. Accent stripe. Where's my accent stripe? Okay. All right. So you want these cute, this cute little accent stripe here. Okay, along the top, and we're, that's going to be on the top of our pocket. And your accent stripe has um, like a little bit bigger at the bottom than it is at the top slightly on your piece. So make sure you're putting it the right way. You want the bigger um, end on the bottom here. Hello, Monica from Texas. And Sarah wants to know if you um, are going to get square zipper pulls back in. Yes, ma'am. And I am carrying a new finish. I am carrying antique copper when I get all of my stuff in, which, guys, antique copper is amazing. Amazing. Right, Carissa? Carissa loves antique copper. <clears throat> um, is that one of your denim zippers? Christina wants to know. No, this is just a navy blue zipper. I don't have any denim in the antique brass, which is the finish I'm using on this bag. All right, you saw this accent piece at a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Hello, Susan from South Africa. You have the best name. Best name ever. And Maria wants to know what you're making. You're making the Rossitron mm -hmm. by... Sincerely Jen. Sincerely Jen. All of her patterns are named after friends-themed things. I love it oh, so much. Would you like to name something after me? I mean, yeah. I tried oh. to get you to name one of your children after me. Oh, I tried did. to get you to name one of your children after me, and you never did, so yeah. in your face. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> uh. All right, so, and then we want to press, place that ba -da -ba, ba -da -ba -da, away from your zipper, top stitch, along the top here. Alicia, I'm glad you think so. We pretty much are the only people who think we're funny, I think. We're hilarious. <laughs> we try to tell our, <laughs> we tell our kids how funny our we kids, are. Our kids don't think we're funny. They do not believe it. No. <laughs> I think we're old and weird. <laughs> uh, okay, so that is my front oh, right the there. Color. I'm wondering the where I nice. should. Isn't that color nice? Yeah. I think I should. Ooh, I think I should put my nameplate right there. Do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Do it. And I, I am loving these new name tags I got. So I'm gonna use one of those. Oh, Here. hi, Barbara. My name is Susan, actually. Um, let's see. Oh, the rainbow bag can be called Susan. I like that. There Can we you go. Let's know if there's a picture of the finished bag. Yes, um, it's I over on that table. Okay. And it looks like there's two sizes here. She's making yep, the Yeah, I'm making the small. So let's see if I can get this in here. There we 
There it is. Is it working? Yeah, it is. It's just delayed on our end. So it's a smaller one. I'm making the small. Yeah. That's what it looks like. I'm excited. Um, oh, Maria, I love Bodio too. I'm using Bodio. This is Bodio vinyl. And then the blue vinyl I'm using as well is Bodio. So I'm, I love their vinyl too. Um, this, I'm pretty sure this is a Hawthorne thread print. Um, and it's the cotton canvas, of course, because we all know how much I love their cotton canvas print. Um, yeah, I'm positive. I'm pretty positive. It's, um, Hawthorne threads. And then I'm using pink waterproof canvas for my inside pieces from fabric.com. Oh, is that one of your leather tags? Yes, isn't that oh pretty? Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. No, I love them so much. These leather tags were from, are from Heartwood, Heartwood and Hyde. And she did such amazing work on these tags. I love them so, so much. It's um, a nice change. Kim would like to know what type of machine and what size needle you're using. I Did am you, you an that? industrial King Max. Oh, King Max. Um, and sorry, I need to go one more over. And I am sewing with a size 18 needle. I don't always sew with a size. I go from 16 to 20, depending on what kind of materials I'm sewing with. And Bob and Weed wants to know what colors did you get for your new leather logo tags? Oh gosh, I got like one of every color. <laughs> everything. I got one of everything because that's how I roll. If she can't decide, I she I wants just it all. I just if I find a shirt I like, I get one of every one. Huh, Susan? Yeah, you really do. I do. Okay, so I'm gonna put that I aside. Love it. It's so good, I love the Isn't leather. that cute? Yeah, I don't know. I may have cut an extra piece there. I don't know. Um, where are my top? I have two top stripe pieces. Top stripe? Yep, right there. Okay. And so I wonder, is the back place the main back? Je ne parle pas anglais, mais j'adore ce que vous... I know you're saying that you don't speak English, but you love something. But, okay. Um, do you use a zipper foot the whole time? Nope. I rarely use a zipper foot. Um, and is that Heartwood and Hyde for the tags? Yes. Heartwood and Hyde. Cynthia is their, her neighbor. Is that what she said? Her neighbor. So no waiting for shipping with labels. Seriously? Wow. Rock on. That you are a lucky duck. Okay, so I am placing my... Connectors, which I already made. I already made my connectors. You guys have seen me make connectors a million times. So you don't get to see it this time. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. wow. Well, Barbara wants to know if you could hack a backpack, maybe dry and sleeve into convertible bag with zipper. Hack a what? A, a dragon sling? A backpack, like make a dragon uh -huh. sling into convertible bag with a zipper. Oh, small too. See, I need to pay attention to the small. Um, I mean, I feel like you can hack any bag pattern. So yes. <laughs> can I? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. All right, two inches for the small out from your center here for the handles. Where's my other piece? Clip in my center there, guys. I'll probably clip all of my centers like I always do. Two inches out. I don't know where my small ruler is. I feel a little frazzled. Are you missing a ruler? I'm missing. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> I was looking everywhere for it. <laughs> okay. Hello from the Caribbean. And Kathleen's watching from her car in the store parking lot. Nice. <laughs> I do that all That's the time. dedication. I tell my family, I need to go to the store and I oh, sit gosh. there in the car for a minute. I drive around quite a bit. I mean, I never do that. Um, so, Honeybee, she is making the Rossitron by um, Sincerely Jen. Yep. 
All right, putting my connector, handle connectors. They're just three fourths inch ones because this is the smaller version. I don't know if I make this again, I may change it to one inch handles. I was just doing what the pattern called for. So. Hello, Marcella from the Czech Republic. Thank you for the French translation, Eva. I, it's been a while since I took French. Hello from France, from someone else. And what kind of snip scissors are you using? These are Tula Pink. I kind of love them so much. And are they actually pink? They're oh, iridescent. Did your, website, did your website show the company for leather tags? No, but I will link it below. My other videos, my last two videos, I believe I have linked the um, leather tag Heartwood and Hyde company. So if you go back, my last video, my last two videos, the link's there. But I'll put it in this one too when I'm done. And can they use the thread that's on sale on domestic machines or is that just for the industrial? Can they use what? The threads that you have on sale. Um, oh, so my thread is a Tech 70, which some machines, domestic machines can handle it and some can't. You just have to know your machine. So I can't say whether your domestic can do it or not. I have quite a few people who do use it and quite a few people who say they can't. So I don't, I can't answer that. You and could ask on the Facebook group though. Kim from the Caribbean wants to know when you make um, a complete vinyl bag, uh -huh. what size needle do you need to use? Oh, at least 18. That's what I was going to say. You were? I was going to say probably 18. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. It's <laughs> the size of the needle. I know, but I just don't know. I don't know. It's been so many years. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, all right. We're going to put this on the front and we're going to sew that on at a half inch seam allowance. Ooh, you just got a package delivered to Norway in less than seven days. What? Excited. Seven days? It just came to her door just now. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. I'm oh. so glad. Jennifer wants to know, out of the bags you have made, not including pouches, which one would you say was the fastest to sew? Not including pouches? Not including pouches. Let me think about that. I have, I, I don't know if I can answer that. I've sewn a billion bags. That's a lot of bags. That's a lot of bags, Susan. That's a lot of clips. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to, you want to press your seam allowance down because you want your connectors to go up and then I'm going to top stitch along that. Gosh, I don't know. Jaded wants to know if I can sew. You know, yes, I, yes, she can. I can sew. And years ago, I used to. Oh, I messed up my top stitch, guys. Is it because I was talking about my sewing skills? No, it's because I was <clears throat> just messed up. I um, used to do quilts, and I used to. I did some clothes for my girls when they were younger, just kind of for fun. Um, but it's seriously been probably 10 years since I've touched the machine, just because my life got a little bonkers. So, should we tell them what we're going to do? <gasps> Yes. So while, while I'm here, we're going to do another live video where she's going to sh teach me how to use her industrial machine, and I'm going to make a really simple pouch. Mm -hmm. Did you mess up? Yeah. Look at that. Guys. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. It's fine. I could put a little something over that. I did it over here, too. Okay, just a second. I can't leave it. You can't just leave like that, can you? I can't. It will drive me crazy. Just a second, I'll fix it. A seam ripper? No, because it's vinyl. You can't use a seam ripper in vinyl? No. no. What? Well, I mean, you can if you're restitching exactly over oh. your same spot, but because it's, um, because it's, I want to put it in a different spot altogether. I can't use a seam ripper. That will not work. Debbie, I've only sewn a few bags a long time ago, and I would be so embarrassed to show anyone here what they look like. <laughs> they were more like a... They were like my beginning bags. Yeah. We kind of did that at the same time. We did. Just cotton. Yeah. Just all cotton and, and I put the basic. wooden handles in them. I was so proud of it. I used it for church all the time. Yeah. But I now, that too. seeing all the stuff that you do, I just don't even want well, to admit that I ever did. Well, I... It's fine. 
Oh, uh, Jada says rivets make everything better. I know. I'm going to put rivets on this and call it good, guys. I'm going to cover this up. And call it a designer original. And it is a designer. Yep. Marguerite. Hello from France. Hi. All right. I'm going to fix this, guys. It's going to be fine. It's fine. <laughs> oh, Maria says watch out for that gas pedal. It can go fast. Seriously. Really? Well, this will be fun then to do in front of all of them. I do enjoy sewing. I'm actually hoping now that I have taken some time off teaching, I'm going to have time to pull my sewing machine out again. Yeah. And start making things. I love creating things. Yes, guys. It's going to work. And I meant to do it. Yep. You told me right before the video that you're going to pretend like it was a mistake. Mm hmm It was, and I was going to show them how to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> and it worked. It's, and that's why that's worked. Look at that. <gasps> Designer. I'm going to do it. Should I do it on the other side? No, I think, it, well, it's kind of messed up there, too. And then I'm going to put a couple rivets there. And that's just going to be the way the bag is supposed to be. That's funny. <laughs> so now when I see rivets, I'll be like, oh. Oh, I okay. see she messed up right now. Hmm. What is that fabric you're using? It's super thick. Is it lined? What? That fabric? Is it lined? It's vinyl. Oh, it's vinyl. Mm -hmm. It's cool. It's like almost sparkly. It is sparkly. It's oh. not almost sparkly. It's actually sparkly. Okay, okay. Happy accidents, they're all saying. Happy yeah, accidents. I know. Gina wants to know what machine I have. I just have a regular domestic. It's a baby lock. It's just a little it's thing. It's just a little thing. I have the same exact identical one. It works great for quilting. It does. It's a great quilting machine. Uh, Not so much for bag making. That's right, Carol. Like biscuits. Uh -huh. I like creating that. No, I'm more of a music person. I love music. I spend a lot of time doing music. Because she just is finishing her masters master her masters in music and music guys it's how finally, amazing is she it's finally happening it took forever gosh we won't talk about how long it took i barely graduated high school <laughs> but you did graduate I high school did. be proud of that Kara wants to know if you want to put one in the middle too no i don't charlie my applied instrument is the french horn mm-hmm Um, when will you get the zipper pull on stock? Did you already answer that? I don't remember. Zipper pull. It will take... Oh, is that the China thing? Yep. Yeah, it's going to take a, while. a month, guys. Everybody's out of everything right now because of the Chinese New Year. So, I mean, I have them ordered. It's just, everybody has to be patient. I, I wish it would come faster. Sorry, just getting some rivets. It's okay. Do you want me to sing and dance? Yes. Oh, yes. All right. Oh, awesome. Charlie did a little stick to the French horn player in high school. Yes, Best Charlie. Best ever. Mm hmm I do love it. I had a friend come over the other day and we played duets. My friend Kim from Walk Valley. <laughs> that was our fun for the day. We played duets. <laughs> That's okay. I would like love it if somebody came over and sewed with me all day so i get it you get it right i get it i to... used to call you a dork but i totally get it you still call me a dork but i'm okay with that yeah she fine. does call me a dork uh, but i am a dork and i totally i'm fine to the point where i get that <laughs> i'm okay with it but she's not oh lisa played the flute piccolo and saxophone and tenor nice. sax like you Hello. i played the flute and the saxophone um kim do we get to hear you play the french horn <clears throat> i didn't bring it with me Mm -mm. I flew here yesterday, and it's a tricky instrument to fly with. Yeah. Hopefully that's not my seam allowance. Hmm. Might be cutting it close, guys. I don't know. Um, just thought you could have cut those in rainbow shape. <laughs> oh. oh, that would be cute. Dang it. You missed it. Missed opportunity. Missed opportunity. It's okay. 
Sherry plays the piano. That's awesome. I play the piano too. I love that instrument. I used to always make my sisters sing with me while I played the piano. Uh -huh. We would spend hours. Uh -huh. That looks really cute. Yeah, but Is that's going to be allowance? right in my seam allowance. So I'm going to have to adjust my seam allowance right there. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay, guys. <laughs> Natalie, you need great lips to play a beautiful French horn. Exactly. Ooh. Exactly. The Bob and Lee we loves your accent rivets. Thank you. It's a design feature offered here on Science Swag. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, rivets make everything better. Do you have a hole punch die that fits your rivet press? Yes, I do. Well, no, I don't. No, I don't. Did you just forget? You just um, I was thinking it was, she was talking about press plates. Um, I don't, and I would love to. I haven't searched and figured out which ones fit mine yet. So there's that. Mm, Charlie, I'm getting my master's at UNLV, University of Nevada, Las Vegas. And... It's a conducting, it's a music, master's in music conducting degree. She's a teacher. Oh, someone says, oh, we're sharing music things. Um, they used to play trombone, tuba, baritone, violin, wow. and bass guitar. That's what I'm talking wow. about. Oh, see? My daughter plays euphonium, and she's awesome. She's amazing. And she's been picking up the trombone, too, so that's fun. Okay, guys. Here we go. See? Look at that. It's fine. I covered up my stitching. It's fine. <laughs> and now the video is only 10 hours long. Uh, <laughs> Oh gosh. All right. Do ba do ba do. I want my foam stabilizer. I'm using foam and I'm just going to baste that on. Sorry that took forever. We will forgive you. Okay. But don't make any more mistakes. Okay. Did somebody say that or did you say that? I, I said that. Okay, perfect. <laughs> My foam. Just a second. What are you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> oh, da, 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 da. <laughs> hey, Renata has a conducting master's from ABC. What's that mean? That's awesome. I think that's where Kim got her master's too. My bottom, oh, why is my bottom longer? Guys, why is my bottom longer? I don't know. Mm. I am gonna have to trim my bottom down. I don't know. Because it needs to be. Is it the wrong piece? Because there's this one. Hmm? There's this one, is it the wrong piece? No. It uh, was supposed to be the shorter one. But now I don't know if I should go off of my foam size because that was the size of the lining or that size. I think I need to go off of my foam size. Well, you're cutting it now, so now that's for real. Yep, guys. You can't add that back on. No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so now we want to make the other side of it but we're not adding a pocket on it. So all we gotta do is add the strip and the handle connector and the foam. Okay? Okay. And if it comes out the same size, great. And if not? <laughs> if not, this fine. bag may just be pure entertainment today. <laughs> it might just have rivets all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Jason, that's awesome that your cousin teaches music at Morgan State University. I'd love to go teach at a university. Where's Morgan State University? I don't remember. Great. Where did you get the whole punch? Amazon.com. Again, I'll link it below when I'm done with the video. It's Japanese... Something, something. Hold screw punch. Is that what it's called? <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> yeah, it is. 
Japanese leather hole punch, maybe? Oh, yeah, Baltimore, Maryland. Sorry, Morgan State. Um, the phone needs to be out of the seam allowance at the top zipper, Angelina says. Oh, well, shoot. That's why. No, he's supposed yep. to be scooted down. Yep. Thank you. Angelina, I wish you were here when she did that first step, but... I didn't read that part. I didn't I didn't see that. It so was I'm probably there. I'm distracting you. No, you're not. A little bit. No, it's fine. Um What do you do? Lisa says thanks for the thread and thanks for the goodies. You are welcome. What can I say except you're, you're welcome. welcome about my boo da da da. Do 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 Oh, your zipper and your sticker and wow. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. I messed up a couple spots on that. Because I messed up the seam allowance too, I'm realizing. This Oops. is a 3 8 seam allowance. I think I did a half. And they said it's fine. You'll we'll make it work. You know what? Either I will or I won't. I don't know. Either way, it's here for everyone to see. Yep. Either way, you're all watching my mistakes. So that's <laughs> great. <laughs> I'm loving the design of this bag, though. <laughs> it's really cute. It's really cute. Let's see if I can do better on this back top stitch. Gosh. All over the place. This vinyl's a little bit slick, and so it was... Kind of slipping everywhere. That's better. Lene wants to request songs for us to sing. Okay. <laughs> Go for it. Go for it. Ta-da. And this has to be out of my zipper. I love the mm -hmm. yellow that you chose for the accent. Now I want to redo that front part. Don't. Just leave it. It's beautiful. Ah, but go, now it's shorter. Do you want me to go cut it out real quick? Because it's shorter. Is it this one? But see, no, this one fits just fine. I think that piece was bigger. Because look, this one fits just fine. I I don't know, guys, what I did. But now this one fits just fine. I'm sure you guys, if you've made this before, you caught my mistake. So I think it'll work out fine because now they're the both the same size. Oh, no. Look. <gasps> what? Okay. What? Just a minute. Is it good or bad? Do you need it's rivets? good. I need a seam ripper. <laughs> oh. Get your, get your zippers, zippers and your seam rippers. Let's get ready to make a bag. <laughs> That's one of our jingles we're working on. There you go, guys. <laughs> it was supposed to be down, like she said. It looked like it was flush, but it wasn't. Who said that? Maggie said, this is reality sewing. You have to make you it work. You know what? It's true. It's so true. And... When it comes down to it, I don't think that tiny bit that I cut off will make a huge difference. So, and if it does? We'll find out in a minute. We'll find out. Maria, yes, I'm gonna need a lot of rivets for the video that we do with me making my couch. <laughs> yes. No, I, Susan's really good. She's really detail-oriented like I am. Well, you couldn't tell I am right now, but gosh. <laughs> I'm like you? Gee, thanks. <sighs> Guys, I usually don't do this, right? It's my sister. It She's distracting me. I'm sorry. Do you want me to leave? No. It's fun though, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's try this again. There we go. Lisa's wondering if the zipper tape could have been that to the seat to the... Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking... Um, I used the wrong seam allowance on the zipper tape, so it made it a little bit longer, which happens. And if that's the case, it'll be just fine. Little sticks wants to know if I'm up for adoption. She wants to see so <laughs> Nope, sorry. <laughs> She's all mine. <laughs> okay, yay! We did it. <laughs> we did it, guys. Happy now, for you. happy for you. Our sister-in-law says. Happy for you. Happy for you. Seriously. She's Korean and she is the best. And she's funny. And she thinks we are crazy. She does not understand why we laugh at anything we laugh at. Yeah. No. You two laugh all the time. You see this? 
She said that. Everyone laughs. Ha ha ha. Not, Not funny. funny. <laughs> <laughs> We're so funny. Oh, there's the doggo. Let me get her. Sure. Okay. So I. <laughs> Woo. All right. So we are going to sew the bottom on right here. Let's all cross our fingers. that this will all pan out just fine. Yeah, if we were all in the same room together um, right now, guys, I don't know if we'd be getting much sewing done. Yeah, so this is... Uh, this is just a tiny bit. You know what I'm going to do? What are you going to do? I think I'm going to cut it down just a tiny bit. I was going to suggest cut it down just a tiny little bit. You were? I was. You just beat me to it. <laughs> I mean, to me that makes sense. Because now my front and back panels are the same sizes. Mm -hmm. I feel good about it. But now my side panels may be off because of that. Well, so, we'll see if I can make it work. I believe you. Well, I'm glad. Here we go. Half inch seam allowance. Right? Yes. <laughs> My bottom piece does have a um, piece of Decaville Heavy underneath this foam. Much smaller. It's like three inches wide because it's going to curve up. And so your bottom isn't this whole bottom piece. Jeanette's granddaughter just heard you say crazy, and now she's walking around saying crazy. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, everyone's saying just turn the sides too. It'll work out. Yeah, I think it will. Oh, that's gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Okay, so I am going to... Which way do we want seam allowance towards... Press the exterior bottom panel. Away from the exterior. Press seam allowance towards the exterior bottom panel. All right, so we're stitching through the bottom panel here, top stitch, and we'll add the other piece too. Is it hard to push it through when it's that thick? No. Like, just that's it. it. Wow. I'm not doing anything except for like guiding it. This thing's a monster. That's awesome. It's a monster, I tell you, it's a monster. Okay. Oh my gosh, I love this pack. <laughs> you want it? Because I don't think I can sell it. <laughs> I kind of do. <laughs> we'll see what happens. What I, I may have to use a 3 8 inch seam allowance on the sides because of my rivets. All right, repeat. Let's <laughs> Love the design of this bag already. I bet the large is amazing as well. Hello, so Terry from California. Hi, Terry. Okay. Hi, Margie. Ooh, that's cute. Love yes, it. yes. Love it. Love it. Love the choices. Thank you. Let's do, put that aside. And I need the side pockets, which are right here. And we're gonna add those. Hello, Laura. And yes, Cynthia, I love the blue vinyl, too. It's This is Bodio. It's, like, got a sparkly... And in person, it's even better. Yeah, I mean, all of this is better in person, always. So these are my side pockets. I'm just going to um, sew half-inch seam allowance along the top, flip, and top stitch. Um, why did you choose foam instead of Decaville? And can I do Mexican candle foam? Um, I chose foam because that's the first thing the pattern called for. And then it said you could use Decaville. So either one would work. I just started cutting foam before 
I saw the Decaville option on there. So both would work. I normally like to sew at Decaville. I've been sewing a lot with foam lately though. I don't know why, guys. And can her domestic handle foam, do you think? Um, no, you need to cut it out of your seams. Hi, Patricia, which happens to be my middle name. Uh, hi, oh. Patricia. Watching you from Trinidad. Patricia's yeah. my helper, man. She was on my team for the giveaway, and she was oh, amazing. She was the person you were talking about? Yes. Patricia, she loved you. Yes, I love you, Patricia. Greetings from Atlanta. Greetings from Trinidad. Um, and Laura loves your new nail color. <gasps> I cut it in yesterday. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> Beautiful. I think they hate it when I ask for glitter, but I just am so sad when I don't get glitter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you need glitter in my life. I need more glitter in my She's life. She's always guys. needed glitter in her I life. Have. I'm a sparkly girl. Growing up at Christmases, my parents would get us matching things. Mm -hmm. And she'd always choose first because she mm -hmm. wanted whatever color she wanted. Mm -hmm. Pink glitter. Good thing you didn't care. I didn't care. <laughs> Uh, oh, thanks, Carissa. Who is asking? Did you see that one? Carissa from Needle and Anchor said you can zigzag the foam edges to compress. Perfect. Perfect. Is the doggy in there? Yes. Aww, she's, in her she's on tired. her talkie bed. Mm -hmm. Her's tired. Mm -hmm. From doing nothing. Like from being yesterday. a dog. Hello from the UK. They love the musical dance earlier. <laughs> Thank you very much. You. All right, let's add this on our. So on this pattern, if you're doing the foam, she has a dotted line on your pattern piece of where to cut the foam off because you don't want it on this top part, okay? And so this line is going to show on your bag. This will go away. That'll fade. Um, so make sure whatever line you do right here with the foam, you stitch it nicely. If you have, if you're using Decaville light, obviously you can just, uh, fuse it and not have to worry about that. What so thread, what thread did you use? Did I'm you using a text 70 thread. 70. Poly. Does that um, have to do with the thickness? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a bonded poly. Okay, so Cindy uses the foam on her domestic and she does the zigzag to, to push it down. Okay, and, and perfect. Does that help? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Angela from the UK says, you're lucky you can go get your nails done and have your sister here because things are, yeah. they can't do that there. I know. I am lucky. We're not quite as locked down as most people. Okay. You're going to have a little bit of a um, opening there. It's not going to be flat. See that? Because you don't want it, you want it to have a bit of room there on the side. Oh, that's why there was extra. I know there's a little bit of... Huh? That's why it was bigger. Yeah. Is it a pocket? Yeah, it's a pocket. It's a pocket on the side of the bag. Isn't that cool? That's cool. Just like that. Okay. Hello, Orlando. Oh, that's cute. Thanks. Can't play euphonium. That's awesome. It's a great instrument. Mm -hmm. So does the pocket go on the other side too? Mm-hmm. Both sides. Super cute. Soups dupes. Soup dupes. Soups dupes. <laughs> dupes. How long have we been on? Oh, I don't know. I'm years. This may be a long video today, guys. It is. It's 11 right now. Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, that, that front part took me for a loop. Sorry. That was all me. That wasn't the pattern at all. The pattern is amazing. The instructions are amazing. But that was um, That was my 
my oopsie. That was all user error. That's what I'm trying to say. That's usually what it is. <laughs> usually the pattern instructions are fabulous. Maria says they're having fun watching something. Okay. <laughs> I always feel rushed and stressed on these lives because I feel like I need to get it done quick. Quick, quick. All right, so there are my two side pockets. So now let's see if this works. Where is my exterior? Here we go. So I need to add this to my exterior. So this I is where that, that. Oh, Could you try again? Hi. <laughs> my watch is talking to me. I didn't get that. I wasn't talking to you. All right, what are we gonna do for lunch? Where should we go for lunch, guys? Chick-fil-A. Oh, oh. Chick hi, Anna. Anna. Hi. Um, look on the palms thing when you have a chance. Uh-huh. Because they may need you to help sewing. Sewing what? Costumes. I don't sew costumes. Well, okay. Well, she's already volunteered you. <laughs> Did you all already volunteer me to sew? No, Alyssa just texted me and told me that hmm. they need help sewing. Hmm. Um, okay. Also, I can get her at home. You can? Yeah. Okay, fabulous. Okay. Thank you Bye, very Anna. much. Love you. Bye. Guys, um, do you ever get people asking you to alter clothes? <laughs> and you're like, I don't do that. Yeah. Their competition is, tomorrow. is Saturday. It's, it's, it's tomorrow. I know. And they need costumes altered? Mm. <laughs> You're going to say no? Mm. Guys. <gasps> Guys, it fits, even though I cut it. Everyone it says, fits beautifully. Everyone says all the time. All, all the, the time. time. Curtains. Pillowcases. Oh, I have an industrial. Can you fix my rug? No. You're all what? I'm all what? Why would I fix your rug? Go buy a new rug. <laughs> I know. They all say, just say no, just say no. <laughs> Little anchor says they don't even hand their own pants. <laughs> I don't. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. God. Everyone is coming in. Yes. Yes. Seriously, people. People think it's so one thing, you so another. I just say I don't uh -huh. need all the time. Uh -huh. If you say no, it's like they don't hear you. No, they don't. One time I had to sew 40, 54 scarves for our chorus concert oh, in two weeks notice. No way stop it you know one time i did make homemade ties my the first i year, remember that I and they took, were fabulous yeah we took our little band to festival mm -hmm. and we didn't have enough money to buy matching and anything. the ties were fabulous and so the okay but that's something that you did for your correct right correct yeah mm -hmm. like that's what tailors are for people yeah. specialize in that Go it's christmas you. birthday Happy it's whose birthday? <gasps> happy birthday! Yay, happy, happy, happy birthday to you, Crystal! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Uh, okay, here we are. It totally fit, even though I messed up and trimmed the bottom off. <laughs> it totally fit. <laughs> it works. Look at that. It's fine. Um, <laughs> I am going to sew it. It says, "Okay, this is the one thing I might have to change." A half inch seam allowance. I'm going to have to change it to a three eighths just because of those rivets over my mistake. Oops. Oops. So, but like I said, it's fine. It'll, it'll work out just fine. All right. So here we go. <laughs> All right. And this clipped on so beautifully guys. Like I didn't have to fight it. So here's a tip. If it's too tight, <laughs> trim about a fourth inch off of each side. <laughs> There's your tip for the day. There's my tip for the day because it works for me. Oh. Hi, Sandra. Oh, I'm your lunch break. gosh. Hello. Let me make sure I'm doing that. Just a minute. Let me read completely. We need silence. Um, yeah, I'm doing this right. Okay. Okay, guys. We're good. And I'm not going to sew through my rivet. Hopefully. Okay. I believe you. Do you? Mm -hmm. I do. I'm glad. Sometimes I struggle. 
Trini is walking from work and it's making her Friday better. Oh, I'm so glad. Jada says, what mistakes? These are design modifications. That's baby. right. It was meant to be. I don't know. I don't know what song that is. Do you? I used to always tell my musicians, it's not a mistake if your face doesn't show it. It's like, you know, yes. just be like, yeah, that's right. I meant to do that. Meant to do it. I don't know which way would be easier to sew this whole thing on, actually. Someone says, just a minute should be your new magnet. <laughs> I guess you say that a lot. Do just I say minute. that a lot? Just a minute. Just a minute. I probably do. <laughs> While I read. Just a minute. Hmm. Usually I like to sew with the gusset side up, but I don't know for this one. Although it's working just fine. Yeah, okay, it's all good. See, you got it. I got it. You got the wrap stuff. Uh, uh. Finish it. Baby. Love the way you turn me on. Bum, bum, the right bum, bum. Oh, see, no, I did not. Look at that. Oh. That's funky. We're going to sew real quick. Let's fix this. You know, I wonder if this part would be easier if you did the whole um, sew at an eighth inch first. Oh, and then come in? And then come in at the right. Carissa, is that one of your patterns that you suggest that? I think it is, and I did it, and it worked fabulously. I'm going to try that on the next side. We'll see if that's... There, that fixed it. Christina says your magnet could say, just a minute, it's fine. Just a minute, it's fine. <laughs> yep. So many things. And guess what? It looks just fine on the outside. Yeah, it's fine. Um, trim your seam allowance down. Mm -hmm. It's pretty thick right here because that's where my zipper and stuff was. Get rid of all that. Get rid of that. Am I in the camera? Yeah, yeah okay. Am I okay? Yeah, you're good. I can see beautiful nails and your colorful scissors. Fabulous. Happy Friday, Marty. Happy, happy Friday. All right, let's try this with the other side. I am going to do... Um, Needle and anchor says, yes, base it. Yes. One eighth first to right? remove fifths, and then go back and sew okay. the seam allowance. Carissa, I am going to do that because I feel like when I did your swell crossbody, that worked so well. So I'm going to do that for this and see if that helps. I actually either tried that and it helps too. On yeah. Curves. Okay. Okay. And got this it. Is in, do it. Do it. All right. All experiment so you don't have to. <laughs> See, that's what we need music for all your videos while you're doing this. When stuff. I'm doing this stuff, because right now it's just silent, and some people like it and some people hate it. Oh, well, they may not like all the sound then. I know. So oh. I don't know what to do about that. Tell them to mute it if they don't like this sound? Mm, yeah. No, they can mute they it. Words. Yeah. Well, no, I don't talk. Right. It would be parts where I don't talk. Mm. Hey, Angela. Thanks for joining. <laughs> Karen, it's great, isn't it? You learn so many tips and tricks from everybody. It's fabulous. I'm learning every time. And I can't believe how well this <laughs> gusset fits, even though I trimmed it. So Maybe it was meant to be. I mean, I think so. I was a little stressed out that it wouldn't work, but it did. Carissa, would you sew it gusset side up or um, exterior side up? I'm curious. It, she doesn't say one way or the other, does she? She doesn't. So I'm curious what you think. 
All right. Um, because if we sewed it this way, I'm gonna try it. Let's try. So we did the other one gusset side up. We're gonna do this one. Um, your your main panel side up, and I'm going to do it. She sews the way you did on the first one. Yeah, that's what I thought. So. Someone else says, do whatever you want. It's your channel. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay then. I'm going to do it this way. And I'm doing it just at that eighth inch first to baste it all in place so I can do my curves better. I think I like it this way up better too. It's kind of a little bit easier to sew on this pattern. Normally, I do it the other way on most patterns, but... I'm telling you right now, this is easier than the other side. Rita wants to know um, about your tags since they're dyed. Uh -huh. Have you had a problem with them getting wet and then running the color onto the bags? Um, I haven't used them enough to know. Okay. So, gosh, I hope not. That's something that you can ask um, the designer. Heartwood and Hyde is the company. But you could message her and ask her if she's ever um, tested that out or had anybody comment about that. Okay, so for this bag, I would sew it this way. I would sew it exterior side up, baste it first, and then go through again because it just, I was able to keep it all in there. None of it slipped. Like with this one, it slipped. That is my two cents, guys. Take it for what it's worth. Um, your friend at Needle and Anchor says, the way you're doing it will be easier to handle because you're putting the bigger piece down. Yeah. Maria, that's awesome. It's awesome that you could get back into sewing after three years. It does help to have someone else. Uh, Charlie, your two cents worth my dollar fifty. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Charlie. Charlie's uh, partner or husband is from Sierra Vista. I think that's the same Charlie. Really? Are you the same Charlie that messaged me? We know where that is. And he's, cause I said something about Marinzi and he said that, um, yeah, his partner is from Sierra Vista. And I said, I know where that is. Well, we were born and raised down in those neck of the woods. We sure were. Oh my gosh, sorry guys, I'm just, oh see, sometimes it gets caught on my foot right there and I'm like, what is wrong? <laughs> Charlie's been to both streets in Sierra Vista. <laughs> <laughs> nice, that's, exactly that's right. about right. <laughs> that's awesome. There we go. All right. I'm just gonna trim this down a tiny bit and then we'll turn it out and see what I've done. <laughs> Good or bad, I don't know. Whatever it is, it is. Guys, yeah. Um, this side went together much better. I do know that much. So the other side might be a little bit more funky. But I don't think it'll be noticeable when it's all said and done. The Needle and Anchor Supply Company says, I love that your seams look like mine. <laughs> Ma. Yes, baby. Oops. Carissa, it's because we're soulmates. <laughs> okay. Let's just see what I did. Um, Jennifer wants to know if you will be able to do any tutorials on the Shambhala's bag. Yeah, I've done, I think I've done one Shambhala pattern. And I do have other ones I would like to do and I just haven't gotten around to it. And I know that she does have one YouTuber who does quite a few of hers. 
but yes. <gasps> Silver Gypsy lives in St. David and shops <gasps> since year this all. What? Let's see, small world. And Elizabeth's watching in between mopping her floors. Nice. I haven't mopped my floors in a while. Oh. <laughs> I mopped before you came. I know. <gasps> That's oh, so cute. cute. Oh, yes. It's, it's okay, guys. It's bigger than I thought it would be. It's bigger than you thought? Yeah. Look Super at cute. That is a cute oh. bag. Oh, you can't even see my mistakes. What mistakes? What mistakes? Look at that. Those side things. Okay. So... These are a little bit off. I should have measured, but that's okay. It's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. <laughs> All right, let's go to the lining. <sighs> da, da, da. And yes, Angela, I do love the room. It is awesome. And a big Suits picture of a room. cute pig. And then mm, oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's, it's pig themed and it's for me. I tried not to read into that, but what? <laughs> it's. I, you know how there's so many cute pictures of farm animals I right know, now? I'm just um, you're going <sighs> to get pinking shears and trim those curves for a nice finish. Yeah. I know it, Carissa. I should, but I'm in a hurry. <laughs> I have a new pair right up here, too. Do you want me to turn it back and, no. and ruin your bag for you? I may have to turn it when I um, put it all together, so I'll just do it then. Oh, okay. Thanks for reminding me. Oh my gosh, this is such a cute bag. All right, let's make our pocket. You like it? I actually really like it. <gasps> I'm so glad. It's just cute. It's a cute pattern, right? Um, I have had my eye on this pattern ever since she came out with it. Lisa is asking how far apart we are. We are two years apart in age. Yes. Who do you think is older? <laughs> I think we've already said. You love that game. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> you love it. Uh, uh, love it. Uh, okay. So sew your pocket on here. It's a big old pocket. Big pocket. Oh my goodness. What? Renita's doing band instrument repair right now. Oh. Yes. Susan knows all about that. Well, I wish I knew more. I had to take the instruments in a lot. Oh, I, um, I thought you had to fix them a I lot yourself. I fixed them a lot myself, too. But something All right. I'm just doing one zippered pocket on the inside, like she says in the pattern. I think you could totally do a slip pocket on the other side as well, and it would be great. So there's that if you wanted it. <laughs> We're talking about Kai Susan being their favorite. K-A-I. Oh, I know. I have yet to order a pair of Kai scissors. I just have good old Fiskars right now. Hello, Lee from Boston. Hello. Lee says we're cute. Oh, thanks. I'm thirsty. Could you get me a drink? Uh huh. Um, I have Frescas in the closet. <laughs> just grab me a Fresca. Of course you do. Your secret stash. I have my secret stash. I forgot to bring my water bottle down. Um, no, that, that'll be fine for now. Would you like me to open it for you? <gasps> I didn't love it. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. I'll be right back. Okay. Right. All right, I'll cut this open. Have a drink. Now, there are two or three different ways you can do your pocket opening. You can just do the two parallel lines and not do the sides. You could do a full rectangle. It's up to you. Um, I find they're both good methods. And depending on what pattern and if I'm following, I just cut my thread. Look at that. See? I'm just making all sorts of fun mistakes today. Just a minute. Hold, please. There. Fixed it. All 
Um, she, my sister did not buy me Fresca this time around because she flew. But if she was driving, I would totally have her bring me some. <laughs> I still have a stash from when my parents brought some last time. All right. Ta-da. Turn that through. Oh, the fun Bobby is so awesome. Yeah, not so secret now. My kids know it's there, but they know I might murder them if they get into it. <laughs> oh. oh, no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Am I distracting you as well? It's okay. Sometimes we just have those days where... The seam ripper is our best friend, right? There we go. Can you um, tilt my iron up and down real quick so I can press that? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna put that down. Um, bye, Kajersti. Have a good dinner. All right. Um, oh, yeah, that's fine. Is it green? Yes, it just, yeah, I think that, okay, I'm going to use the blue zipper for the top because I don't have enough blue zipper tape and I'm going to use this one for my pocket. That's what I was going to say. You were. That's what you were going to suggest. Absolutely. Fabulous. It's 11. All right. So the whole zipper my nose to increase your stitch length so it's easier to manipulate once the pocket is turned. Increase your stitch lengths while you're sewing the zipper. Why is my lighter? Do you see my lighter anywhere? There it is. All right. I really don't think this is going to take much more. We're almost there. This pocket, and then we'll put the lining together and then add the top zipper. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. Giselle loves fresca and sparkling ice pop too. Oof. Yes. Me too. I'm drinking black cherry fresca, and it is my favorite. This one. Black cherry. Mm -hmm. That and a diet Dr. Pepper, Diet Coke, not Diet Pepsi. Blech. I don't understand Pepsi drinkers. Sorry. All right. Let me go. I'm going to go press this real quick with my iron, and then I'll be right back. She'll be right back. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Stay here. Don't leave me. I probably could go without pressing it, but you might as well. Might as well. I'll make it easier. Um, when I got here last night, Kasai's daughter Charlotte did a magic show for us. Ooh, it's fabulous, wasn't it? She made tickets with our names, and we had to have our tickets mm -hmm. that she marked on, and then she took away. So I'm not sure what that was all about. And <laughs> it was the best magic show ever. <laughs> it. She was funny, of right? Writing things on paper and crumbling it up, and then mm -hmm. uncrumbling it, and it was really funny. I think she needs to go into theater. I think she does too. Yeah, <laughs> she's. She's got it. I've never done a zipper before. You haven't? This is how you do it. Well, there's like a million ways to add a zipper. We should do a pouch with a zipper so I can... Yeah, can let's we? do a pouch with a zipper. Faux show. Faux show. Yeah. And the stick just holds it down so you can sew it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
double-sided tape is like your best friend when you're sewing. No, I guess but. I have zippers and clothes for the kids, but yeah, it like but that. no, it the, yeah, kit, yeah, like you uh, know, clothing zippers are different. Yeah, yeah, these are way easier than clothing zippers. Um, can I post a photo and a link in the group? About she's what? She's gonna do it. Um, you know, she's talking about her scissors. Oh, and people are asking where to get it. Could yeah, for sure. Her? Yeah, please do. Yep, go for it. Uh, Charlie says, make a pouch that will hold your delicious diet Pepsi, which is oh. the best drink in the world. Ew, Charlie. <laughs> Come on now. Needle and Anchor says, please do a posh. Oh, yes. Is that what I should do? Carissa, we will totally do a posh. I am going to show her how to do a posh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, you're... Yahira bought the Wayfair sling and hold them off for your tutorial. Is yeah. it one on your future list? Yes, it's my next one. Oh, it's awesome. my next um, recorded one, like pre-recorded. So yes, next week. That is the first one on my list. Awesome. But I am going to, I've been debating and I am going to do it with binding because... That's your new thing, isn't it? You're well, binding. It just, I feel like it will form the bag better. And it was super hard for me to turn it through that po pocket. So I am going to do it with binding. Just a warning. But there's not much to change whether you're doing it binding or pulling it through the pocket on this one. So it's not much different. Everyone's saying a sunset posh. I don't know if I'll do the sunset because um, this will be her first pouch sewing on the industrial. So we'll probably just do the regular. But the sunset is my favorite. And Joanne, uh, what time is it? It's 8, 1825 in Scotland right now. It's 1125 here in mm -hmm. Colorado. So that's Pacific. Or Mountain. Oh, Mountain. Sorry. I, mm -hmm. no. <gasps> I live in Mountain now. Yeah. I'm all, what are you talking about? I don't know. I used to live in a different time zone. Yeah. In a different time. <laughs> in a land far, far away. <laughs> she lived in a different time zone. <laughs> You're far away. Where are, Where are you? <sighs> All right. So sew so this pocket, but we don't want to sew it closed because I'm guessing we are turning it through there. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Ooh, Ashtown Creations has to leave the video because an architect just arrived to discuss Ooh. her sewing room edition. Hey. Have fun. Make it big. Make it big, make it beautiful. is our zipper pocket. Let's finish our lining. I am going to trim this up on the side just a little bit. And on the top. Hi, Jennifer. Have fun at work. Okay. So let me just make sure. Yep. Okay. Repeat steps. We're just going to make our lining just like we did everything else. So add your bottom piece on here. And it doesn't say um, in this. Oh, yep. She does. Side panels. Lining. Bottom. 5-8 seam allowance. Okay. 
because you want your lining not to be baggy. So you want it a little bit um, bigger seam allowance. Are you bored? No. Yeah. And I'm trying to like leave you alone a little bit because I can feel that you're trying to hurry. Oh, I'm just, I'm good. I'm good, guys. And your um, panels do have a, they're bigger at the bottom than they are at the top. So make sure you're putting them on the right way. So you want the bigger part at the bottom. Oh my goodness. Crystal said when she was young, her mom and dad used to make a tree, fill the glass up halfway with chocolate, and the rest of it was Diet Coke. That sounds fabulous. Oh my. Combining the two best things in the world. <laughs> it would work with Dr. Pepper. I'm sure it would be just as good with Dr. Pepper. I think um, I have heard of like Dr. Pepper and Diet Coke floats before, right? Yeah. Charlie wants to know, did you make your exterior seam allowances smaller than suggested, right? Oh shoot, yeah I did. So I probably didn't need to do such a big um, yes, I did my exterior at a three eighths just because um, of my rivets. So I probably didn't need to go as big on this. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> That's okay though. At least I have to have emergency back surgery Aww. and shoulders. Shoot, and chemo. Lisa, my goodness, I'm so sorry. So sorry. My husband just had neck surgery. Mm -hmm. and it's not fun. No. I hope you have people there who can help you. Yeah. Lisa deserves a chocolate diet coke. Yes, Lisa, get yourself a chocolate diet coke. I'm sure the doctor will allow it. Yes. <laughs> Black coffee in my coke. Manhattan special. I love it. Uh, fabulous. All right, so now I'm just repeating. I really do think a slip pocket on this other side would be great. I wish I would have cut one out for it. If I were to make it again, I would probably do that. Now, I wonder, this is gonna be a tight. Oh, not chocolate, just chocolate milk in the Diet Coke. Oh. I said it wrong. I was going to say, half a glass of chocolate. Wow. Okay, that makes sense. Because then it would be creamy and chocolatey. Okay, Crystal. I, I see, see you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I've got that stupid jingle in my head. Get your zipper and your seam ripper. That one? Yeah. Me too. Let's get ready to make a bag. Sigh, sigh. That must be the jingle. Line. I think so. Although I like the other one. Sigh, 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 sigh. Do, 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 do. Let's go and make a bag. Do, 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 do. do. She's not your dad. Thank you, Teresa. Jody, which one do you like? The whispering size swag one? I mean, I could play the audio while you're doing this. <laughs> I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. You want me to while you're Yeah, go that? for it. We'll okay. fill, some, fill some space right. here while I'm, I'm play clipping. For you. We've been writing some jingles because she needs some music for her website that's original so it won't get copyright flagged. And so I'm putting some stuff, some loops together and then writing some original stuff so that it would be legal. So this is the one we came up with yesterday as she's sewing this. Are you going to do the eighth first? Do you want to explain what you're doing? You know, you do I don't think so. Not with the um, lining. It's a little bit easier with the lining. So I'm just going to do the regular. All right. So here's, here's the one that... Some of you have heard already, but it's got a couple things in it.
We used to say, uh, instead of, she's not your dad, was, she's not a hag. I did that first time, yeah. <laughs> but I wasn't sure if that would offend anybody, so we well, changed she's it. she's not your dad. I'm not your dad, guys. They say something the same without the dancing. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> oh, someone says, you can say, you ain't so, you ain't bad. Okay. She ain't so bad. That's <laughs> good. Like that. That's, That's good. good. I like that too. Lots of options, guys. Lots of options. All right, that went on pretty nicely. We'll do the other side. Oh my gosh. Huh? Crystal says I need to make sure I want to rip her clothes off for her birthday. Oh, oh. <laughs> Ooh, Crystal. <laughs> that's a, that's a uh, different kind of video here. <laughs> she likes the seam ripper one. Oh, okay. It is kind of a cute little it is. It's a zipper and a seam ripper. It's just kind of cute jingle. It is a cute jingle. Agreed. Uh, Will you do a Pisces? Heart bag. Okay. No. No. Yeah. Um, I've been asked to do that bag quite a few times. I know somebody just came out with a video on it, though, if that helps. Um, it's just that whole heart thing is adorable, but it stresses me out that I would get it to look nice. So I haven't tried it yet. I don't know. I may try it and surprise myself and love it, but... Right now, it is not on my list. I'm so sorry. I'm sure Charlotte would love a heart-shaped bag. <laughs> of course Gosh. she would. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I, I guess they can't get Preston in Texas right now. She's been looking. Ugh. Yeah, well, we can't get it here either. This is my Utah, Utah Frex Fresca. Oh, yeah. We my contraband. There. Yeah, you too. Crystal, you're cracking me up right now. What is she saying? <laughs> um, Joanne says, Messiah, did you get a chance to look at the Woolsey Wallet by Spencer Og? I have not. I know which one you're talking about, though. It's super cute. I haven't ever done Spencer Og's um, patterns, so I'm not sure if she's in a designer that allows videos, so I'll have to look into that. give us a lot of suggestions instead of dad <laughs> <laughs> i don't know guys i think the dad has to stay it's just it is what it is right now <laughs> uh, uh, i do like whisper singing though that was fun for me yeah it's funny to watch you too <laughs> um charlie says other youtubers have done the wolsey okay I still have to ask her for permission, though. But good to know. All right, moving you back in. Let's sew the second side. So I am starting at a 3 8 since I did my exteriors at a 3 8 And then I'm increasing to a half inch around these sides, which... I'm doing it the wrong way. Just a second. Or I'd like to know how you decided which bags to sew. Mm. Um, sometimes they're ones that I've been asked to do by people and sometimes they're ones that I just think look cute. <laughs> I don't, I like to sew bags that I think are going to be cute. So, and sometimes I do ones that other people have asked me to do. There's really no, uh, calculated process to it. <laughs> It's whatever you're in the mood for. It's whatever I'm in. And I am in the mood for this one, and that's why we did it. So. <laughs> yeah, she grabbed the pattern last night, pulled out some material, and said, let's do this one tomorrow. Yeah. I've been wanting, I've been wanting to sew this one up, and I thought this was a good opportunity.
Oh, I forgot to tell you the funny story. What's the My husband story? and I were in Las Vegas at a doctor's appointment the other day, and we stopped at Panera Bread to eat lunch. And I was, of course, carrying one of my Saya swag bags, because that's the only purse I ever have. And it happened to match the shirt I was wearing. It was the buffalo red black. Okay. okay. And the lady at the door loved the bag. And she goes, oh my goodness, where did you get your bag? And I said... <gasps> Saya swag. I said, my sister actually made it for me. She goes... She did not. I said, no, she really did. She goes, at a company? I said, no, at her house. She goes, well, you tell her to bring her business cards in here, and I'll give them out to everyone I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cute. Um, Jody wants to know, do you suggest snipping the curves of the gusset to make it easier to sew? Yeah, I do. Totally do that. I do that on a lot of my bags. I just didn't do it because I was in a hurry. Cheryl, the designer for this one is Sincerely Jen. Sincerely Jen. She has a ton of cute patterns. Go check out her patterns. Sarah says she buys patterns faster than she makes them. <laughs> that sounds about right, doesn't it? Same. Oh, yeah. You should see my drawer full of patterns and my computer bogged down with a ton. Okay, so that's our lining. Bada bing, bada boom. And now we are gonna work on our top zipper. Okay, so we want it small. I need to read, remind me, small, not large. And I always go bigger. I'm gonna go a little bit bigger. Go bigger, go home. Go big or go home. Go big or go home. All right, oh, I need another zipper pull. Kalisha says, patterns everywhere. Yes. yes. True fact. Jada needs an external hard drive to put all on. Yeah. I have thought about selling little thumb drives for patterns. Somebody. Uh, Cece of Kaya Papaya suggested it to me. I thought, that's a great idea. Okay, so you want to do that whole 90 degree turn for the one end of your zipper. Huh. Uh, make what? So my pattern is pretty much bye, 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 so. Bye, bye, so. I have ones that I bought probably like three or four years ago that I still haven't made. It's so crazy. Sharon, are you having a hard time with the focus on it? It's what? Is it not focusing? Well, it is on mine. I, I, it I might wonder, be your computer. Try refreshing Sharon and see. I'm not moving around too much with well, it. My computer looks pretty clear, but okay. I'm also right next to you, so I don't know. They're all agreed. They all buy patterns and so. Oh gosh, yes. Although I sew way more patterns when I buy them now because of this. Right. I bet. All right. Oh, this one. Just a minute. Hold, please. I do say that a lot, don't I? Just a minute. You do. But it's adorable. Is it? Never lose it. Okay. I need to check my bobbin, too. I bet I'm about out. You can hand stitch this part if you don't trust yourself on the machine. Go for it. You do, do the ends of it? Yeah. Just sewing them down. Thank you, Kalisha. I, re I recognize your name from before. You are a freaking Kalisha is awesome. She's one of your people. She is. She's awesome. <laughs> Cheryl's talking about pattern hoarding, just like fabric hoarding. Yeah. Yeah. Big issues. At least patterns are cheaper than fabric. Hello, Jenna from England. Hello. I've always wanted to go to England. I just want to go to Europe. Mm-hmm. Fainsies. England. Sisters trip. Sisters. 
You have to go to all the music places with me, though. That's fine. Okay with that? Yeah, that's fine. As long as I can eat and do other things. Yeah, you can. Eat and drink and be merry. Yeah, and then Perfect. I'll go see where Mozart and mm -hmm. Beethoven and all those guys were. Mm -hmm. um, hand and stitch, what Jaded, she was talking about hand stitching the zipper at a 90 degree, right? Yeah. Okay, so on the front. Oh, they want to know how. I'll answer this one for. Um, while you do that, do you need to talk about it first? So it doing? says we want to measure a half inch. I'm losing all of my stuff. Where's my marking pen? Is it this pink thing? Yep. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Let me make sure it's not different for small. Yep. Half inch in from the seam. I'm having a hard time seeing what they are saying here. You see what I mean? Right here, because that looks like the seam. So I think it starts, but then ends there. Help Sorry. Uh huh. Yeah, that helps. <laughs> Where's my seam at? So it's right there. Hmm, I can't really tell. Okay. Well, I think it's this way, so I'm going to do it this way. Half inch. On the front, here. Doot, 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 doot. And a half inch hair. Oh, yeah, Sherry, that's that seems right. What? I'm so sorry. She lost her sewing mojo. She's helping me, uh, watching me helps a lot. She had a lot of bad things happen. Oh, I'm sorry. Died. Grandson born with a serious heart defect. Coming up on so good second open heart surgery. We had a brother who had three open heart surgeries before yep. he was three. Yep. Um, someone wants to know how you got your name because it's so creative. So I will answer that while you saw. Like my given name? Yeah. I, I, I think you're talking about because your name is Kasaya, right? You're not talking about Saya Swat, I don't think. Yeah, which one? Um... You're talking about her actual name. We have all of our siblings are really, really plain, normal names. We have David, Jason, Greg, Susan, and then Kasaya. And that's because at the time my parents had been researching into ancestors and they found a Cherokee great, 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 great grandma. Uh, fifth grade? Um, in our line, one of the grandmas. One Cherokee the, tribe. It was in the Cherokee tribe, and her name was Kasaya. And so they almost named her... What was it? Sarah. Sarah. And then decided when she was born to name her Kasaya. Mm -hmm. All right. True fact. All right. I'm just sewing this zipper on here. I'm not sure if I'm doing it right. I think I am. I did a half inch from that seam. And that's my beginning. And then I'm going to... Taper it at the end. You could sew it from the other way too with the bag inside out and sew from the other side. I'm just used to doing it this way. So this is the way that I'm doing it. Hello, Joyce. Oh, Daniel. Thank you, Daniel. He says it was our fourth great grandmother. Thank you. I thought it was. Quite sure. Daniel knows more about my family history than I do. That's because we just looked into it. You call Daniel. I don't know anything. <laughs> Kasaya is the youngest, actually. Yep. She's the baby. I'm the baby. All right, so that is attached to one side. So how I do this is I'm going to flip it and make sure I'm getting it on the other side here and go down like this. 
So that is where I want it to be. Oh, I see. Right? Yeah. So I'm just gonna clip that there for a minute so I don't lose my place. And then mark. Are zippers hard to learn when you're first doing? Yeah. Well, is I don't know. Is it to get them out to pucker and be all weird? Yeah, not really. I mean, I think these zipper tapes are pretty straightforward. I don't think it's too hard. But I don't know, I could be wrong. I've been doing it for a while. There we go. His name is Happy. That is the best name, Happy. <laughs> Bet your parents were glad to have you. They were happy. Kara says, makes sense, otherwise you would all have those names. Yep. Yep. She gets the special one. Shucks. We're so close, guys. We're almost there. What what is our time? Are we at two hours? Um yeah. Okay. Minutes. Okay. We can do it, guys. We can do it. Uh, all right, here we go. And we start where that zipper tapers right there. She said she got the weird name too. <laughs> I don't think it's weird. It's Those beautiful. young kids. Those youngest. Mm -hmm. You think, you know what? What am I going to do with you? Name is something loves different. Her name. I do and love she my name. Loves that it's unique. And yeah. All right. Let's finish this off. Sorry, just thinking here. Let's turn our exterior back inside out. Yes. You should have seen after I did that mini backpack the other night. Oh, oh so my gosh. Thick. My hands were dying. That backpack is the cutest thing I've ever seen. My hands were dying. Patsy was named after the nurse that delivered her. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. All right. Crystal says thank you for your tutorial on the Luz Marina by Aura Rosa. Oh, you're welcome. She's watching it while she's making it. And it's really cool. Oh, good. I'm glad. That's a really cool bag. I like that bag a lot. Sorry, I'm trimming off my tops. Because it fit better if I gave myself a little room at the top. Kira's parents named her. Uh, let her older sister name her. And she couldn't pronounce her best friend's name. So she got what she could say. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Good story. Kalisha, that's right. K names are the best. Cause Susan. Cause Susan and Kasaya. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm gonna place the lining inside of my exterior here, right sides together. So it doesn't matter uh, which way you do this as long as your right sides are together. It doesn't matter where the zipper goes. What? Doesn't matter what side the the zipper goes? Yes, it does. You want it whichever panel. So it's on my back panel because I want it on my back panel. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. um, I am just going to pin this zipper down. So I want that out. Make sure your extra zipper is out of the way here. Okay. And then start clipping on everything. 
And I line up my side seams first always here. Cynthia was going to be named Susan. Uh, she's the one that made me that little oh, Marley May scarf. Your middle name is Susan. Oh, that scarf is so cute. Mm -hmm. Adorable. It's being washed right now. Marley May can't be bothered. She is asleep on her bed. <laughs> like you guys are exhausting. She's looking at me like, why are you talking? Uh -huh. <laughs> Look Ray says, my sister was number seven of six girls. I don't know. Anyways, um, ran out of names. So I asked the nurse what her name was. Her name was Gail. She says, sounds good. <laughs> Love it. I was going to name my youngest Lucy. And the nurse in the operating room said her dog's name was Lucy. <gasps> she did she not. Did. That didn't, ruins it. It didn't deter it for me, but that did it for Bryce. God. He's like, forget it. We're not doing Lucy. I was like, Ugh. oh, you don't want people to do that. Lanika? Lanika. Lanika? That's, That's pretty. That's really pretty. I like that. All right, y'all. Let's sew this sucker on. Let me change my bobbin because I can guarantee it's almost out. Huh? Yep. All right. Of course, it wound too much. Gosh. Seven girls, no boys. And she was named after her dad. Ray. <laughs> Sorry. It's a beautiful name, though. What's your name? It's Ray. But oh, Ray. that's a good name. A like that's a name. good name. One of my really good friends is named Ray Ann. She's like, I was named after my dad. <laughs> um, I have a brother-in-law. Get this. I have a brother-in-law <laughs> whose parents um, swore to their mother that their firstborn child would be named after her. Her name is Abigail. And their firstborn child was a boy. So his name is Abigail. <laughs> yep. Yep. What do you do? All right. We're at the home stretch. I probably won't top stitch um, on camera just because of time. But I am going to stitch these both together. And then we'll turn it out and see what we have. Oh, Ray, I bet you did. What? She spent her whole life telling everyone it wasn't short for anything. It's just Ray. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, isn't that the Star Wars girl now? Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. you See? Are, you have the force now. Now I bet there's lots of little girls named Ray, actually, because of that. Right? Yeah, I bet so. <laughs> she also says, poor guy, he must be tough about... Yeah, he goes by Jay. He goes by his middle name. <laughs> but my daughter's name is Abigail, and so recently they were together, and they uh -huh. were just loving that they both had the same name. Yeah, he was telling her about all the times in school, the like first day of school when teachers are calling your name, <laughs> and they say Abigail, and he's like, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, what? He's like, it's my name. <laughs> I go by Jay. <laughs> <laughs> I had a student tell me once for three years. You know what? That he went by something else. Uh huh. And it was just something he made up. Oh, and gosh. after three years, I was talking to his parents. Like, why do you always call him that? I'm like, that's not his name. Stop it. Because I don't know. Whatever. Well, I think it builds character when you have unique names, right? <laughs> yeah, you know. I know it. We were laughing because I hate giving out my. Like, when you go wait for a table at a restaurant. And you have to give them your name. I have to spell my freaking name every time. They don't understand what I'm saying. So I usually give the name of whoever I'm with. <laughs> so yesterday, I was Susan. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Crystal, that is awesome. My sister-in-law's name is also Crystal. So I'll have to give her that little bit of information. What should she say? <laughs> she searched her name. Online, and Crystal is one of the top three names for strippers. Yes, <laughs> Crystal, work it. That and Ginger. My best friend's name is Ginger, so I think that's one of them too. 
Here, I'm gonna be able to see us while oh. I turn out the bag. Hi right, guys. Back. Let's do it. All right, scoot over your chair a little bit. Yes, ma'am. I make up a mess. You know no, I don't. I'm kind of bouncy. All right. Oh, I forgot to open my zipper. Shh. That's okay. Is it a problem? No. <laughs> I feel like I have to resituate myself here. Okay. Open your zipper. And here we go. Here's where the magic happens. Is this the magic? This is the magic. Do we need music for it? I mean, we might need music. Here we say? go. Let's do... do Carissa, that. your name is beautiful. I love your name. Oh, you no. know what? I put pins right here. I'm going to take these out so I don't tear my... We're gonna turn her back. Right turn it side out. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Let's do another one. Right. It's a party in the sewing room when we get to this point. Don't you know? Because we got to turn it out and treat. <laughs> I ran Kalisha, out. Kalisha, I'm a May baby. I'm Cinco de Mayo baby, actually, which I love. <laughs> Why'd you turn it off? I don't know. I don't know if it was bothering you. <laughs> I was loving it. Were you? Uh -huh. We'll find another one. Okay. This is a drive slow. No, don't like that one. Hi, Cheryl. You're just in time for turning the bag. And that light We're is like... Turn it out. Can you, yeah, what do you want? just maybe move it back there? I don't know what to do with my lighting situation. Does it make you look shiny? And... It like goes from shiny to regular and I don't want people with like ep epilepsy or anything to have weird reactions. Like that? Oh, much better. Yes, thank you so much. Um, and Susan lives in St. George, Utah currently. Just moved from Las Vegas. I've been she, in Las Vegas yeah. for the past 20 years. She was in Vegas. It was a big move for the family. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we have, guys. What did we do? <laughs> what did we do? I think with all of the crazy mistakes I made, this is really stinking cute. <laughs> there were no mistakes. Right? Right. 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 Do, 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 do. Okay. Ooh. It's like intense music. We're getting ready for the big bag reveal. What's it gonna be? Top stitch it still. So cute. <gasps> it's way bigger than I thought. I don't know why I thought it'd be so Um, big. like the large must be really big because this is I guess this is just a perfect handbag size. I've got something it's on it right perfect. there. Um my little accents are a little crooked. That's okay. It's okay. You can't tell them. It's not crooked. Like... It's not crooked if you go like this. And then I have my handles already done here, already and I'll done. add those later. So Maybe. all we have to do is close up the pocket. You need to top stitch your bag, and then I'm just going to clip on the handles to see how it looks, and we'll be done. I won't do all that other stuff because of time. We've had you here for a while now. Yeah. You need to go on with your day, I'm sure. I mean, we could sit here all day. We could. Because we really entertain each other okay there are my <laughs> krista yes we embarrass our kids look at that oh it's a cute. cute bag okay with my mistakes that weren't mistakes but were mistakes it still turned out okay <laughs> no mistakes <gasps> Um, go try this pattern. I'm excited to do the, um, larger version of this now. Yeah. Because, oh my gosh. And you could even put a crossbody strap right there. 
With rivets. With rivets. <laughs> you can do anything with rivets. Um, How long do you usually make your handles? Crystal wants to know. Uh, these ones are, I made them two inches longer than the bag call for. I think the bag calls for 14 inches. I did 16 just because I knew I wanted to do strap ins and you have to make them just a little bit longer for that. I usually like to add a couple inches to whatever the pattern says. Cause I know I like bigger. You added to this. This is so little anyways. I know. Yeah. yeah. So it was supposed to be two inches shorter. Oh, maybe some people like little handles. Yeah. Some people do. I like a little bit bigger ones. So I added two more inches, but oh my gosh, you guys. So this vinyl and this vinyl is Bodio. This fabric is Hawthorne Threads and my inside is fabric.com, waterproof canvas. Most of the hardware is from my website. 